Well, Travis and I are back at it this morning. The roads are a little better, way better than yesterday, but they're still covered in spots. There's a lot of drifting snow today. So we're waiting right now. There's a semi and a truck loading up. And uh, we just, this is our first load of today. Just a two today to haul. Um, once we get them hauled out, then we're gonna head back home, feed them, get all the cows fed and everything. We gotta grind corn. Hopefully we can get that harvester opened up and climb in there and fix that before long because it takes two people right now to grind corn at all times. So, just gotta keep on waiting. Seventy-eight or four eighty-nine. I know it was four. nine three. It was only four. Nine numbers. four three maybe. Those are only four numbers we got. Really? One two. Is it four seven eight or four eight nine? I yeah, I know the paper was pretty well like that. Oh no. Yeah, we've got a major problem here. Stock! As long as they don't, don't double back. So. You stand back there. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, hon. It's <laughs> one of those days. Come on. Come on, girls. Ah! Oh, you got it. Chain that open. There. 
Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Easy. They can just mill it out in here. Yep, we'll get some other ones. She told me last night after 12, so she's like, I can't promise that there's gonna be anybody here. As long as no one shoots me on sight, I don't really care. Well, they got security cameras up. Yeah. But I did that. I, I had to get my last load. And it was exactly that. It was, well, they're in this group. Just go get them. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, it should say the lot number that they're in, right? Hey, Tommy. Right there. Get there! Oh, go, 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 go! Good. Okay. That's better now. They're on the trailer. <laughs> yeah. There you do go. We, uh, do Thank anything you. or are we done? Oh, you're good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <sighs> Hey everybody, it's Ryan and Travis. We're about to head out and start feeding out of my place. We got all of the cows moved back. Uh, they really didn't give us any problems at all, other than the one that tried to escape on Travis, but he fell over and sacrificed himself and she went back in, so. <laughs> That's right, you gotta make a, a sacrifice to the cause. Yeah. So, um, as far as the silo goes, we've been working on that. Hopefully sometime in the next week or two we can get up there and fix that now in one of our previous videos as people kept asking us if we grind our corn and uh, this is the feed mill right here there are two rollers down in there you can see them there and uh, those crush the corn they're set to the right width where we want it just to crack the corn so then the cattle can utilize the feed better if you don't crack it the corn has a more of a tendency to go to go to waste the cattle don't utilize it as well and it just basically runs out the back Cattle are kind of like a combine, you know? So we're gonna start loading up the corn buckets and uh, head out to my place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I 
getting pretty chill. a tad bit low on feet on this farm as a matter of fact we're out so we're starting to move bales over from the main farm So now I'm standing out here with my cows and we're, I'm gonna have, four, I think 41 out on pasture this summer. And I think we struck it pretty good. Uh, just standing around the bale feeder here, they don't really seem too concerned with me, at least the ones standing around here. I'm sure there's, there's always gonna be a couple wild ones in any group, um, but I haven't really noticed any that are more wild than my wildest one that I already had, so. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. I think that I got them for a really good price and I'm just kind of standing out here just to kind of get them used to Just to make sure that they're used to people um, There were a couple Bunches that were sold at the auction. You could tell that they weren't used to being handled whatsoever so I don't know. I think I struck it pretty good. I already have one blue 7 720 She's pretty chill I don't know where she went now, but she came right up next to me and she let me pet her and everything. So I just, these cattle are vaccinated. I had a couple questions on my last video about that. Um, and they, you can know that not only did they say it at the auction, but uh, they also have these metal tags in their ears. They're like these little clips, little metal clips. Hey baby. <laughs> So, I'm pretty happy with them. Now it's just the long wait until they freshen and then letting them out to pasture the spring. So, with that, uh, that should be about it for this video. I'll keep you guys updated on them as the year goes on. Um, since I bought 21, that's another 21 extra calves that I'm gonna have this spring, along with about I think I'm gonna have like 10 or 15 of my own fresh in this year. I need to look at my numbers again. But um, yeah, should be a pretty good year. Hey, sweetie. Super, super chill. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching this video guys be sure to check out all of our other ones be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to check us out on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat all how farms work and uh, i'm really looking forward to getting these guys out on grass this year and um, i'm really looking forward to what the future has to offer so with that um, i may consider doing kind of like a numbers video talking about some of the expenses you got to look at when you're raising cattle but um i I wanted to invest more with cattle because uh, I don't have as many acres this year as I have in previous years. So uh, to keep the ball rolling, I wanted to invest in some cattle to get a cattle herd going. And I'm, I think I'm off to a pretty good start. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.